My name is Tiffany Gibson, and this is my capstone presentation for my educational specialist degree in instructional technology at Kennesaw State University. The title of my capstone project is Addressing Digital Citizenship. As a technology leader, it is important that I understand how to help bring about and sustain change. I think this project helps to prove that I've taken what I've learned throughout my classes and this program to meet the standards and expectations that have been set. The setting for this capstone project is at Cedartown Middle School in rural Cedartown, Georgia. Cedartown Middle School serves students in grades 6 through 8. It's one of two middle schools in the Polk County School District. The school has a population of just over a thousand students. There are 78 teachers and the school is a traditional public school. It is also a Title I school, which means that it has a high percentage of students from low-income families. Schools expect that the responsibility of teaching students digital citizenship falls on the parents. Parents expect that schools should shoulder the responsibility. Students end up left in the middle and try to navigate the digital world on their own. This project will be a school-wide initiative to adopt a digital citizenship program that will impact all students at Cedartown Middle School. Currently, the school or the district provide any instruction in digital citizenship. The public looks to schools to provide an education to students in every area. It would be a huge injustice to students to continue to not offer instruction guidance in digital citizenship. As I thought about the problem, students at Cedartown Middle School lack instruction and understanding of what it means to be a digital citizen in today's digital world. Students today are faced with challenges that previous generations have not had to face. Cyberbullying, digital identity, and digital footprints are just a few of these issues. As I thought more about this issue and the fact that we will be preparing students for a world that does not yet exist, I knew that this was something that had to be important. So the more I thought about it, the more I landed on this idea of finding a digital citizenship curriculum that would be able to support students in the classroom. As I worked on my capstone project, it broke down into several different sections, research, professional development, surveys, preparations for the monthly materials, and implementation in the classroom. I started the project by researching the digital citizenship curriculums that were available. It became very evident pretty quickly that the only great choice available was through Common Sense Media. It has curriculum for K-12 and it has a wide variety of topics that are age appropriate and then the best part for my district is that it was free. Once I landed on the Common Sense Media curriculum, I created a presentation and shared it with the administrators. And after their approval, I provided professional development to teachers in a session during pre-planning. A minor difference that happened at this point was that I had originally planned to have eight one-hour sessions with smaller groups of teachers However, due to other events taking place during pre-planning, this was changed to a whole group one-time session. During the first week of school, students and teachers were given surveys in order to gain insight into teacher and student attitudes and knowledge about digital citizenship. This information was very insightful. I learned that even after professional development had been given, many teachers still had apprehension, which was okay because it helped me to find teacher leaders who could help those that were struggling. Another key aspect of this project was preparing the materials for students and teachers that they would need each month while the project went on. Originally, I had planned to create a good bit of materials myself. However, due to the excellent quality of the materials that were available on Common Sense Media, I chose to use many of the materials that they had already created. My group that I provided instruction for ended up being a group of seventh grade students. Each month we watched the video provided by Common Sense Media and then we worked through the materials that they had provided. This gave me an opportunity to see how students were understanding the curriculum and how they were responding to it. Most students that I encountered were very positive about this project and really seemed to get a lot out of the curriculum. One of the ways that I had predetermined success would be the number of students who participated in the monthly instruction. I'm pleased to say that 95% of students received the instruction based off of school attendance data. Another criteria for success was teacher and student feedback. I'm happy to report that 80% of teachers felt that they had gained valuable knowledge about digital citizenship 
thanks to this project. One of the major resources that came out of this project is the online resource center that is now a part of my online classroom. Students and teachers can go and find resources about many topics pertaining to digital citizenship. While I think this is a great resource, I would be remiss not to say that Common Sense Media is a much better resource that is free and has much more information than I could put on my online classroom in the amount of time that I've had to do it. As with any project, there were some notable differences between my proposal and the actual project. The first major difference is that I had intended for there to be more of a decision for the administrators to make about which digital citizenship curriculum to choose. However, as I stated earlier, Common Sense Media was the best choice hands down from the beginning once research started. Since it did not take as long to research and decide on a curriculum, I took that time to work through all of the grade level materials for the curriculum to get a better idea of where I could find materials for certain topics if needed, which ended up being the best decision. Once the project started, I realized that many students didn't have the background knowledge that was needed to complete the curriculum on their grade level. My prior research allowed me to get them to earlier lessons in order to build their understanding. The third major change for my proposal is that I thought I would have to create a good bit of materials myself. However, Common Sense Media had most of the needed materials available for print. I ended up spending more time identifying relevant materials and preparing copies for teachers throughout the building. This task ended up being more, con time, more time consuming than I had originally thought anyway, so it all worked out. If I had this project to do all over, there would not be many things that I would change. I really feel like from start to finish, this project was very similar to the proposal that I submitted. I believe that the initiative that was started due to this capstone project will be continued at Cedartown Middle School. After talking with colleagues and administrators from the school, they have indicated that they feel like this project was successful and helpful to our students. In closing, I'm very pleased with the outcome of this project. Going in, I obviously thought that it was a good idea. It has given me an opportunity to make an impact on my school, hopefully for years to come. Also, my principal has made me aware that she intends to share this project with other principals in the district at the next principal meeting and encourage them to adopt the Common Sense Digital Citizenship Curriculum in their schools. Thank you so much for your time. 